Well, hey, my name is Nate. I uh, serve as the lead pastor here at Redeemer City Church. And uh, let me just tell you a little bit about myself and then also a little bit about our church. Um, I grew up uh, in the church. Uh, my dad was a pastor, and yet uh, I remember when I was like 16, and someone was like, hey, you want to be like your dad when you grow up? And I was like, no. <laughs> um, when college uh, was really where um, the gospel of grace just took root in my life. And uh, there was just a, kind of this clear calling into ministry and went into just some training at seminary. And I'll never forget in seminary, I took a church planting course. And it was one of those courses where uh, all of a sudden I began to see this, this missional heart of God played out with the local church. And then you kind of fast forward five or six years later, I find myself moving with two other pastors and our families all to Madison, Wisconsin to see a movement of the gospel take place, to see not just one church planted, but multiple churches planted. And, and by God's grace, uh, in 2014, being sent out of the first original church, I was sent out with another pastor to plant Redeemer City Church. In the fall of 2024, we'll be celebrating 10 years of Redeemer City Church. And we think about Redeemer City Church really about three things, gospel, community, and mission. The gospel component is just the dynamic that um, the gospel is what is most needed for not only the non-believer, but also the believer for the Christian. That the gospel of grace is what's needed to bring about repentance and faith, but also to bring about growth in the believer. And so each week, we're just orbiting around this good news, trying to get a new take, a new lens, being refreshed, renewed by it. And then the second piece would be community. That not only are we reconciled back to God in the gospel, but we're actually reconciled to one another. And so on a week-in, week-out basis, we live this out in city groups, these small groups that reorient themselves around gospel identities of family, servant, sent one, and uh, learner. And then lastly, uh, we're called to mission. Uh, there's this moment where Jesus, after he's risen from the dead, he says to his disciples, as the Father has sent me, so now I send you. And that's remarkable because it says that the triune God is actually inviting and calling his people to participate with him on mission. And so we're sent out in declaration and demonstration by our lives to declare this news that Jesus has died and he's risen and there is hope for all. You know, if I was thinking about, uh, if I was in your shoes, thinking about this position, why I would consider it, uh, what might make Redeemer City a good fit, um, I, I think I'd say about three things. The first thing would just be, uh, do you yourself uh, just want to grow in the gospel? Uh, there's something about just knowing that um, as a pastor, as a minister, um, my greatest need uh, is actually the gospel on a daily basis. And so in one note, is think about being a part of a church. Um, first and foremost, do you just know, man, I just need the gospel. It's what is actually present good news for me today. Um, and then secondly, I think about this, like the associate pastor of outreach is this dynamic of just being that focus on mission. And do you love to see, and have you seen in some capacity, have you helped ordinary people live out mission on an everyday basis? And you know, Madison, Fitchburg, it's a unique area. Um, it's not easy soil, and so it just takes time and patience. And so if, if you get excited about helping ordinary people who are all different walks of life grow and living out the gospel every day on mission where they are, um, this would be a great fit for you. And then thirdly and lastly, you know, we're not a huge church. Uh, we do a lot of things together collaboratively. And if you get excited about working alongside a team of elders and deacons and ministry team leaders who are just trying to figure this out, trying to live out our mission to see our city renewed by the gospel, uh, if that gets you excited working with other people, um, then please let us know.